Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host Jason Turner. I'm available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. Now I'm going to cover something a little bit quickly here. Uh, I just want to get a point across and this is something uh, that I've talked about a little bit more in depth in my C++ Best Practices book that I just released which is referenced in the comments and it's a great way to support this channel if you are interested in supporting this channel is to check out that book. So uh, no discard. I've talked about no discard several times, conference talks, videos, you know, I've written about it. It's, it's, it's been around. It's really helpful. Let's talk about what no discard is real quickly again. So I'm going to create my struct S and I am going to create a function in here that's something like um, no let's do this sorry now this might look a little familiar let's just call this vector instead so if I were to create an object of type vector and I were to call vec.empty and not to do anything with the return value, is this a bug in my code? Now, you might think, well, that looks pretty straightforward. That's you're just calling the empty function and ignoring the result of it. Well, it turns out that this is an extraordinarily common bug to make by users of the C++ standard library because they expect this to be a to be a function that actually empties out the vector so the user calls this thinking ah uh, now no that's not what's happening at all. This is returning true whether or not it is empty. So this is categorically a bug to call this function and ignore the result. And it turns out, and there's been several discussions from the Visual Studio team on this, that this is a very common bug that they found across the code bases that they examined when they were adding no discard capability to their standard library implementation. So a function like empty should definitely be marked no discard. Now this gives us warning the ignoring the return value of empty declared with no discard. Oh, okay. Why? But why is that a bug? I don't understand. Why is that a bug here? Okay. Well, C++ 20, we're in C++ 20 mode, gives us the ability to put a description here. So we can say something like, you probably meant to call clear. And that's probably what they meant to do. So now I've got this description here. You probably meant to call clear. Oh, by golly, you're right. I should have called clear instead. That is the non-const member function that actually clears the values out of the vector. So start using no discard. There's many ways to like really think about this, but you can watch this episode and then go and ponder and look at your own types and say, which of these functions that if I were to call it while ignoring the return value, that would be a bug in my code. And it is probably most functions that return a value at all. Not all, but most. And if you look at this, you'll probably find yourself applying no discard amongst many different functions in your code. Now I want to make one other quick comment that we have our, let's say I've got some sort of an error return type. I want to do thing, it returns some th error type of some sort. So I call do thing, this again, not a warning of any kind, but I have two options. I can mark this no discard, but clearly this is an error type that is meant to be used throughout the code as an error type, and therefore I can actually mark the type as no discard. And I can give a description here saying, this thing is an error type, 
Why the heck did you ignore it, basically? So there you go. Start using no discard. This is a quick episode, but it will find bugs in your code. There is no question about this. And if you have upgraded your standard library or compiler recently, you're probably starting to see some of these warnings pop up because indeed, no discard is now actually part of our standard library specification for functions like empty. And it should probably be in fact applied in many more cases but now you start to see function declarations look like this. Maybe it's a little bit wordy, but it at least gives us a clear explanation to the user as to what to expect from this function. Discarding its return value is almost certainly an error. This function can be called in a const x per context. It returns bool. It can be called on const objects, and this function will never throw an exception. So. Thanks for checking out this episode of C++ Weekly.